Hi, in today's video, we're excited to demonstrate the Navix video interface for the 2022 and newer Dodge Ram. This particular interface is for the 8.4 inch cars that have the factory nav. If you don't have the nav, it's going to be different solutions going to work in a different way. Using this unit, you can add up to four different cameras and an HDMI input for mirroring. So this particular car will show you we had a left camera, right camera, and a front view camera, and we added mirroring. Now I want to bring attention that this particular car came only with a single camera. So let's click on vehicle. Let's click on rear view camera. The reason we're showing you this is because sometimes we get people that are confused with some of the videos. They're thinking that we're manipulating factory cameras. And then in this case, this car only came with a single rear view camera. And we've added an additional three cameras and an HDMI input. So now we're going to go ahead and, and demo that. So let's get back to the factory screen. All right, so using the left turn signal, we'll automatically bring the left turn camera. Using the right turn signal, we'll get you to the right view camera. You can access the front camera. It'll automatically come up if you shift out of reverse into drive. All right, now we're gonna go into drive and it can stay on from three seconds to 15 seconds and you can easily change that in the menu to how long you want it to stay on for. Let's go back, let's put the car back in park. You can also access the cameras at any speed by holding the right arrow on the left side of the steering wheel. So by pressing it once for two seconds, you'll access the HDMI input. We're going to skip that now. Now you'll press it again. It'll take you to the left camera. Now you're going to press it again. It'll take you to the right camera. And you can press it again. And it'll take you to the front view camera. In this mode, it'll work at any speed and stay on for as long as you want it. Should you put the car in reverse? So let's put the car in reverse. A lot of people ask us for that. Put the car in reverse. Let's put it back into drive. Oh, let's put it back into park. Since we already had the front, let's put it back into park. Since we already had the front view camera engaged, the front camera will stay on. So if you parallel park and you want to have the front camera on, it's easy to spot and back out. You can just turn the front view camera and then you'll have it on the whole time. But as soon as you put the car in reverse, you'll get that reverse use so you can back in safely. All right, besides the camera inputs, this unit also has an HDMI input. So now we're going to demo the HDMI input. So let's uh, scroll through the settings. We'll go back to the factory screen. We're on aux for sound. <clears throat> the unit is already pre-wired, so there's no additional wiring done. The unit will send the sound to the car. Right. So let's go ahead and play a Navix video through YouTube. All right, so while the video loads, very important. Like we said, the unit can add up to four cameras. If you have a super duty truck that doesn't come with a rear view camera or you took off the tailgate because you're gonna be towing with the vehicle or you have a trailer, for some reason you don't need the factory camera or it didn't come with the factory view camera, there is a fourth input where you can either replace the camera or add a rear view camera if it didn't come with one. But very important qualifiers, this car must have navigation. It must be the 8.4 with nav. If you have the 12 inch or if you have the 8.4 without nav, we have different solutions. But this particular product is for 8.4 with navigation. All right, so here we go. That's in, let's do another video. <clears throat> If your trucks came with a 360 view system and you want to manipulate those cameras in motion, we have different, different solutions for that as well. This is not it. If you, just, if you already have the 360 camera and you want to access those cameras at any speed, just visit Navix.com and you will be able, and we have solutions to do that as well. All right, here's another video. And using this HDMI input, you can add an Apple TV since these cars already come with four, with a hotspot. Or you can add a Roku or Fire Stick. This is a true HDMI input. Connect your laptop, any device. So this unit does have four composite inputs and, uh, and the fifth HDMI input. All right, so thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us and make sure to visit Navix.com.